this is amazing and it has to positively impact the clients and their families. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about that, what you've seen, maybe a personal story, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. There's so much positive impact when it comes to the adult day program. So first for the caregiver, I think it's really important that they do have time for respite. Um, I always tell caregivers you can't pour from an empty cup. So this day oh, program. Very good gives them the opportunity to have some time for self-care. Mm -hmm. um, and then also to maybe continue to work, um, have that work-life balance for right. them. And then for the clients, um, it gives them autonomy, mm -hmm. gives them something that is their own, um, a place to come to. They build rapport uh, with the staff that work there. Uh, they develop friendships with the clients Oh, that nice. are also there. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Do are there any mixed feelings or guilt about families who um, who would put their their parents? I'm and I'm using parents mm -hmm. as an example into one of these programs. Mm -hmm. It's really common um, that people do have guilt. It okay. is a difficult decision. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's important again just to recognize that you can't pour from an empty cup, right. so you need to use those services so you can, can continue to provide care. And then, again, for the client, they come and they find purpose. Mm -hmm. They engage in meaningful activities. And I think uh, there's so many examples that I have where clients find true happiness and they are able to remain in their homes for a longer period. Um, and if they didn't have the program, I'm not sure that would be possible. That's right. It's kind of like, it's, I don't know if I, if I can compare it to this, but it's kind of like when you take your kids to daycare mm -hmm. for the first time yeah. and, and you're sick about it, right? And you cry when you, when you say goodbye to them at the door and they run off yeah. and they have a good time. And then by the second or third day, you're like, oh, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to go shopping. And uh, yeah, that's fabulous. Do I love personal stories. Do you have a personal story about a client? Mm -hmm. I do. So there was a client um, and her daughter took her out of a retirement home uh, during COVID. Mm -hmm. um, when this client first started to attend our program, she was very frightened, scared. Mm -hmm. She was on anxiety and depression medication um, to help her get through the day. Yeah. She was constantly asking when her ride home was coming. Aww. Yes. Um, and then uh, once we established a rapport, mm -hmm. we went and you know developed that consistent routine with her. We really saw her come out of her shell. Uh, we got to see her likes, her dislikes, and truthfully, her true passion for animals. Oh, <laughs> do you bring animals into the program? We're very fortunate. We have two pet therapy guinea pigs oh, no. on our program. <laughs> So that's something she truly loves when she arrives in the morning. It's one of the first uh, jobs she goes um, to help out with, ensures they have food, their cage is clean, she'll take them out and pet them, hold them. She probably mm -hmm. gets up in the morning on the day that she's gonna go there and thinks about that. Yes, yeah, uh, absolutely. <laughs> I love that, I love that. 